Hey everybody, hope everyone's doing well. I wanted to make this video because I think it could help a lot of people. And it's something I never thought of doing until my friend Jack introduced me to this idea. So I want to shout out Jack's YouTube channel again. That's Jack's Price Action. He's the one that guided me to this idea. And what I'm about to show is how you can take an idea you have with Price Action and with the help of AI, you can code an indicator. And I'm going to show an example of how to code a paint bar and specifically for my study, the three bar micro channel signal that I'm trading. So you can see on my chart, I have the indicator on and there's, you know, when there's a bear signal, three bar bear micro channel, the third bar and any follow through bars paint red. And when there's a bull micro channel, the third bar and follow through bars paint cyan. So I want to show how to do this from scratch. So I'll go ahead and turn off this, this indicator and we'll do it together. So Jack told me to talk to chat GPT the way you would talk to an actual human. So the way I've been starting it is I'll say something like, hi chat, can you help me develop a code for ThinkScript for Thinkorswim? The coding language that Thinkorswim uses is called ThinkScript. If you are on TradeStation, it would be easy language instead of ThinkScript. And if you have a different trading platform, I wouldn't know anything about them. So you'd have to see which language to code for those and let me just add paint bar and of course it says yes I can help you with that what do you want to do so I might say I want the indicator to show me when there has been a three bar micro channel but you have to clearly define what it is you're talking about so what is a micro channel So I said a bull micro channel is a series of three or more consecutive bars without a pullback. And that should be bull bars. And then of course the opposite for bear bars. Now, what is a pullback? So for the bull case, a pullback is when the low of a bar goes below the low of the prior bar by at least one tick. And the opposite is true for the bear case. Now what's a bull bar? I'm defining bar direction in a different way than Ali would. Ali uses IBS, so the close of the bar relative to its position in, within the range of the bar is important. But for me, I'm trying to keep it very simple, and what I chose to do is define a bull bar as a bar that closes at or above its open, and a bear bar is a bar that closes at or below its open. Now this might be good enough. Let's see what chat GPT can do with the information we just gave it. So here it's going to go down through the list and talk about everything you defined and make sure everything's good. And then it will start typing out the code. And there's one more thing I forgot to add, which is, can we color bull signals, cyan and bear signals, red? It'll update the code for that to be true. And then we can go ahead and test the code. So you can copy the code, bring it over to your trading platform. We're going to create a new think script and I'm going to call it YouTube example. And I'm just going to delete this and paste the code and there's no errors. So we can click OK. Sometimes there's going to be errors and it will highlight in red where the error is and there's a message down here at least on thinkorswim that tells you what the error is and what i would do in that situation is copy and paste the error message and copy it here paste it in chat gpt and see if the computer can figure out the problem and here's what we have so 
the signal seems to look pretty good at first glance. Now, as always with anything, you should take your time and make sure that the signal is actually working properly the way you want it to. So I can see right away, bar 20 should be painted and it's not. So there's something wrong with the code. So I have to go back and double check what's the problem. And I'm not entirely sure what I missed or what it missed. So there might have been an issue with resetting the sequence. So we can go ahead, get the updated code, get rid of this, paste the updated version, and now we have an error. So this is a good example. So I'll say, copy that. So again, I have no idea how to code what the problem is. I'm just doing what I can do as a human and the computer figures it out. We can copy and paste the new code. There's no problems. We can apply it and that still did not work. So I have to do more digging. Why did that not paint? Well, what if I say, okay, so why did this bar paint, but not this one? Is it because bar 18 low is below the bar 17 low? Because the computer thinks no pullbacks are allowed. So what if I said, looks good. Just one update. The first bar in a bull micro channel can be below the low of the first bar in a bull micro channel can be below the low of the prior bar and vice versa for the bear case. And you can allow, it tells you what you said, allow the first bar to have a low below the previous bar and the opposite for the bear case. Here's the updated code. Copy and paste it here. No errors, that's good. And now that fixed that problem. So you, you get the point. You're going to have to play around with it and go back and forth a little bit, but it's pretty easy when, you know, if you're someone like me who has no experience with coding and you want the indicator, the paint bar on the screen while you're trading, because that can be helpful. This is a really easy way to do it. So I hope that was helpful. And thanks everybody for watching and I'll talk to everybody soon.